Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. We are in, we're in a retrograde already. We've got another retrograde coming. And here's what I want to talk to you about. You're becoming a virgin again. Isn't that nice? Some of you are thinking, wow, I really love to feel virginal and absolutely just forget some of the things. I'd like to erase things. I'd really like to erase things from the other side of our union. Well, guess what? That's what will be happening for you. It is what I call and have been telling people for several years, becoming newly virginized, re-virginized, but not even that. Newly virginized, brand new, fresh, clear, clean, all of the things that you do want and not just from private part areas. No, from the parts of you that you may feel are still tethered to someplace else. Now, I want to let you know about this energy right now because we're in this retro and it's Mercury within Jupiter. And what does that mean? Well, the Jupiter energy, that's the masculine energy. And that is going to be pushing to you things that actually belong to you. Yes, things that belong to you. As in all things return to the rightful owners. And you have to catch it, capture it, hold it, keep it. So the shadows will abound. I compare this energy to the valley. Yes, the valley of the shadow of death. It's going to be that way for some people. This is not a dark night of the soul. This is addressing the things that have been in the shadows and the things that have been hidden. Now, if you were to have a song to exemplify this, you could have two people where one is telling the other one and saying, you ask me if I love you and I choke on my reply. I'd rather hurt you honestly. Why hurt it all than mislead you with a lie? I'd rather hurt your feelings and just walk away. Well, guess what? She can't help but see everything. He doesn't know that, though. I'm just another drifter, still trapped within my truth. No, you're not feeling. You're not feeling this. That's okay. I know how to get you to feel. Just another prize fighter. Still searching for the truth. There's nothing to fight anymore, especially us. We don't have to fight anymore. Don't you understand? You don't have to do this this way. There are new ways. But sometimes when we touch... The honesty's too much, and I have to close my eyes and hide. I want to hold you till I die, till we both break down and cry. I want to hold you till the fear in me subsides. Oh, but hold me. I had no idea what that you were afraid. I just... I thought you were so strong, but I thought you were strong. And how do they get to that point? How, to, how does she hold him so that the fears subside? Well, it is through the body because this shadow stuff, this is going to mean a lot of things for a lot of people. It could be facing your mortality. It could be other hidden stuff. I mean, we've been seeing the hidden stuff pop out. There's going to be more hidden stuff. Does your twin have a gambling problem? And that's the addiction. Do they give money where they shouldn't? Are you seeing little subtle things that still need correction? Okay. Newly virginized means things are new. That means that your union is going to be new. You're not 
sustaining. Let's take that word sustainable, sustainable. A lot of people throw that word around. Can you sustain yourself properly, handsomely, in fact, the way you deserve if your twin is still doing this? Let's take another example. You keep pulling my energy. No, I'm not. I'm just doing what I feel. If I want to be a beach bomb, then just let me. Okay? Don't even worry about it. But you see, you keep sucking out my energy. I can feel the pull. I feel it. I feel things that go on. Well, stop it. It's not that simple. But how do they stop it? Where is it? Where is it tacked onto the body? I've got the answers. We're going to kick some butt. No, we can't kick butt. There are other better ways to do this. Okay, so you have a grace period here. A lot of people don't want to know about that. And I'm going to say something else. I am a teacher and I am a guide to the new earth. And I am also have been teaching for several years. Now, some of you get upset with that. Some of you, it's like getting upset at a college professor who's trying to help you graduate. So you're also getting upset when I'm waiting for that next batch of people to get what they need. So feel free to, you know, do what you have to do. However, if this is new to you, if you're just finding out what this is, if you're on a twin flame journey and some of the indicators will not be there anymore. So some of the things that you may have relied upon, like number sequences, those sequences had a reason to them. And you may not actually see some of them. You may ask why? Because it's time to address the shadows in this energy. That's what this energy is for. So you may feel like you're flying blind. You're flying blind. You're in the clouds. You're, you're like a plane without radar. You know what? Your heart has the radar. That is what I teach. You know, so, and I know some of you, you got upset with teachers in high school and grammar school. You fought with them. You wanted to get out. You wanted to hurry it up. I get it. You didn't want to have to learn algebra. You didn't see what practical use it was for your life. You didn't want to have to learn chemistry. But there are people who say, you know what? I want to be an engineer. I need that algebra. I want to be somebody. I want to be free of all these things and become a virgin again. I want to be a doctor. I need that chemistry. I need to know how the chemicals that I prescribe people might affect their body. I need that. I need it. Okay? So... You don't have to get upset with the teacher. There are people trying to graduate, and I do want people to graduate. I've said that. I've said it in my classes. So the grace period for learning about some of the shadowy stuff, things you're going to see, things that you might have to finally deal with it, okay? It could be finally getting a parent into a nursing home and death. Death is a part of this energy. I'm going to just say this. We look around, and I see it here too. I see people dropping like flies. I see that people have not the wherewithal to heal themselves. However, you've heard this before, that it's in you. Well, if it's in you, what is it really taking? I have that information. I have the ways. And it is a bit prolonged. So yes, it's not just a one quick fix, a one hit it and quit it. Okay. If, if you could do that, many people would all, wouldn't even be watch, still watching these things. <laughs> so if this is new for you, and of course it is about your twin flame body. I am the developer of the twin flame body way of doing things. And if you want to know what does Blu-ray mean, we're the prototypers, okay? We're the test pilots. That's what that means. That's the type of beings we are. And other people are bringing other things to the table. Don't you want to finish bringing what, that's what you call mission. What do you bring into the table? 
What are you going to do for a living that will properly sustain you as you move forward and that you live together? Okay. So this shadow period, May of this year will be the time of emergence for you too. Now you might feel like, hey, that's my twin emerging out of the shadows. It could also, what is the other meaning of this word? Emergencies, emergency. This energy, okay, this is, it starts in Scorpio, it ends in Scorpio, fiery, sudden, abrupt changes. It could be job losses. It could be police intervention. It could be you pick up a court case. It could be finally concluding. You, you're going to feel very odd in these energies. Now, to help you with this, I have part two of my class, which is for the lovers from the earth to the stars. I'm doing it Thursday the 15th at my ADM. That is the afternoon in Europe. It's the evening in the Middle East, and it's very early morning on the West Coast of the United States. Um, it would be, I think, uh, it would be about mid-morning in South America, and Friday the 16th at 6 p.m. So let me just tell you, some of the Friday ones, because it's people's evenings or the next morning, if you're in Australia... Stay in bed, take your Saturday morning, and join. If you are in the United States, get your jammies on and come and join. Now, what I, I just want to give you what the format is. I do prepare a presentation about it. I talk about these energies in much more detail. You Also, I open up the floor for questions. You're welcome to address questions. Sometimes people participate. You're not required to participate, although I'm a people person and I like that. I like when people participate. Thank you to everyone who has participated in my webinars. Okay, so there's also going to be something that I will start for gearing people up here with this energy. It will be an ongoing daily Zoom class at 6 a.m. noon and 6 p.m., if for some reason I have to um, record, I will record for you. It will be an ongoing daily meeting of about 20 minutes. This one is to give you, beyond daily astrology and tarot, things that you're able, it is implementable and practical. Now, that is what I'm a firm believer in, is getting people to the point where you're able to balance things. Okay, in this shadowy energy, it's not easy to balance because you may feel dragged down by things or dragged out or out of energy. You're going to feel it here. You're going to feel it in your central nervous system. You're going to feel it in your guts. You're going to feel it on your back. And for some people, that's going to translate to several areas of your body. And, and that's where, as I say, the usual indicators aren't there because you'll be going, What's this? What's this? You may feel like an old rusty car that's blown a gasket. Come and get virginized. Come and find out how do you do that. Okay, that's what I'm here to teach. Okay, because romance isn't strategy. Romance is passion. Okay, because when you start to come out, emergent, fiery, you know what else the Scorpio energy is? That's when you just look at each other. And you do that thing where no words are necessary. You just grab each other and kiss. And it could be two males. Okay. I've missed you for so long. And there's not a word said because their lips are locked. But their hearts are vibing there. And they look into each other's eyes. Okay. Or you have another couple. Okay where they suddenly see each other and he says her heart it's here she's here i never ever thought i'd see you again i never did and her heart is saying please don't leave me i've lost you okay he can feel this okay 
How do you get to the point of that pure heart communication? Very pure, very elegant, very melodic, poetic. How do you think poets and lyricists write this stuff? It's the heart. Okay, it's not because the head says, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, the head can't do that. The heart does it, okay? A lot of you have projects that you're itching to get going on, but you're also tired at the same time, okay? Come and join my webinar. Find out the ways that you need or this one. The webinar is 80. This is intended to be $30 for a month where you get daily guidance on today do this, tomorrow do that, and it should coincide with what you're experiencing because that is also what I'm here to teach and guide you through. It doesn't negate the things that you already feel. It's there to enhance. It's there to help you remove unwanted things. So please consider it. The links for this class or the 15th or the 16th are down below. If you missed part one, you I will send you part, I'm sorry, if you missed part one, I will send you part one, okay? so. This is not going to be a dark night of the soul, but it is going to be weird. Okay, the weirdness is abound. The shadows abound. That's what some of the weirdnesses are. You also have something else to know, okay? And that is, I'm going to just say this here. Um, any of the comforts, they're going to be falling away. And you may have wide open spaces around you. Use it wisely, okay? If, if you're open, if you're twiddling your thumbs and you don't, come and join, okay? Feel free to ask it as a question in my webinar, okay? It is closed. It is a protected environment. It's not like the Wild West, like social media. Even though I know people, you know, you might get help. You might get a mixed bag of stuff. Come and get something that puts you back in touch with your own twin, okay? Because that is what I do. I end it by a true communion with your other half, with your true other half. Because you will only match, you have one matching vibration. Okay? All right. Thank you for watching. Thank you to everyone who has joined. Thank you to everyone who has liked my videos. And, you know, if, even if you don't like them, I'm keeping on. I'm keeping on and keeping on. Keep on keeping on. And I encourage you to do so as well, even if you need to take a break to say, you know what, I don't know if I can focus on the person, but I will focus on myself. Good. Focus on yourself because you're connected to somebody and you may as well find out the what to do. Okay, because especially for this, the what to do and what's happening on the other side, it's going to be very different. So find out and I hope to see you. Enjoy your week, and please have a wonderful day. The season's changing, and I'll be back with more. Bye.